Well, actually, technically, this is the local Starbucks. I'm just sitting here, just taking care of business before I get out of work. Normally, we roll in about noon. Uh, a little early today. It's, it's only 11:30. Uh, but you know, I love working at Bungie. So you know what? I'm going to take you on a tour of the, uh, the new office facility. How does that sound? Uh, we're going to leave our favorite Starbucks and uh, we're going to head over to the office and check it out. Multiplayer game uh, belt today. It must be Thursday. Thursday's when I wear my best uh, multiplayer. I wear uh, my best boss battle on Fridays. Uh, okay. Where are you headed? Uh, so with the UFC. Get a sandwich? Uh, yeah, that and, you know, some polish. Some polish, some brasso? Yeah, some brasso. Sweet. Man, yeah. sandwiches are cool. I hope you enjoy your sandwich. That'll be fun. Okay. Hey, uh, can I speak to Shishka, please? No, it's a real name. It's not a prank. No, it's a real name. He calls himself Shishka. I don't know why he calls himself Shishka. No, Shishka. There is no Shishka? All right, so he's fake character. Oh, hey, what are you doing? This is Bungie facility. Hey, uh, hey, there's no videos here. No videos. So, uh... Yeah, our first attempt to get in at Bungie Studios didn't go down so well. I worked there, but I think that that security guard's new. He doesn't recognize me. He doesn't understand how important I am to the organization. So I think he made a mistake. Uh, but we'll get we'll get over that. I I know another way in, so we'll go that way. Let's check this out. So, uh, here we are at the, uh, the secret entrance to Bungie. Uh, like all of our most secret places, we refer to this as our back door. So, uh, think of us as, uh, as the kind of criminal who would go in a back door, back door bandits, if you will. So we're gonna, we're gonna head into our uh, secret entrance here past the, uh, the new security guy again. I don't know how he didn't know who I was, because I'm very important. As you can tell, this is our bleachers. Uh, people have made that here. Uh, it's not a pretty sight, as a bungee staff is almost 100% dudes. But they do make that here behind the bleachers. We've got our half court basketball set up over here. We've got our summer beer cooler. Uh, as you notice from the weather, uh, Seattle's really, really a sunny, sunny, warm place, and uh, we, we enjoy an almost tropical climate up here. Uh, actually, before we go in here, I'm going to show you one other thing. I'm going to show you Bungie's air conditioning system, which sounds boring, and actually it is boring, but the sheer scale of our air conditioners is so awesome. So inside this. Structure. And I'm not kidding this time, these are actually our air conditioners and these provide cooling and ventilation to our banks of servers which are right now working on shaders and uh, light mapping and all sorts of other things for our next project. These literally are our air conditioners in this building. So anyway, uh, before that crazy security guy comes out here and busts us again, we're going to take you in through the dark warm recesses of our back door. God damn it! <laughs> Which one is it? Which door is it? Don't film this. There we go. Hooray! Right. So, we went through the bungee back door after very slight 
minor struggle and inconvenience. Uh, this is our kitchen. Uh, as you can see, it's fully stocked with toasters, toaster ovens, snacks, fridge full of uh, further snacks, sodas, a pile of snacks. Uh, this entire structure and all these cabinets contain snacks. Uh, snacks are a big part of being a bungee. These two guys over here, are uh, they're testing snacks for us. Uh, that's an organic banana as opposed to the artificial kind you're probably used to, but uh, no expense is spared to your bungee. Uh, here we see another bungee staff member uh, eating just barbecue sauce. That's it. Uh, mm. it's, uh, it's called the Fat Kins Diet. <laughs> and it consists just of condiments. So he can eat jam, he can eat mustard, he can eat barbecue sauce, hot sauce, steak sauce, mayonnaise, uh, salad dressing, and uh, salt and pepper. And he can't eat anything else. And uh, you really don't want to follow him into the restaurant. So. This is our relaxation crash, or where we go for a nap, or, you know. Or where we play games at lunchtime. Uh, it's a multi-purpose area, and uh, a couple of people have taken a dive off of that balcony up there in here, unsuccessfully. They're, they're not with us anymore. Uh, but if you hang on, we'll go take, take you and show you our uh, other resting facilities. I've got our shower in here. Just check no one's in here naked. Motion, uh, motion detector lights. Uh, it's where you come and get it cleaned up if you have an accident or if you're sweaty. Uh, a lot of people cycle to work, especially the ones who live on this side of the lake. It's our storage cubbies. Uh, I don't think this is a dude's storage cubby hall. It might be the bunch of princesses. It's hard to say. Man, man, there's men in here. It's the men's room. Uh, no expense spared. We have an infrared uh, motion detecting uh, activated faucet. We have a state of the art paper towel dispenser. Three cubicles. Uh, I like the one at the end, the uh, big one. I call it the Carnegie Suite. So, uh, this is the bungee elevator. If you remember that scene in Superman 3 where Richard Pryor has to activate the nuclear bombs by turning both keys at once, we have a really similar situation here. It goes to one floor and yet we have to use this crazy scheme of keys to, to make it work. I don't even know. Is, is this the right key? Yeah. And uh, so I guess if I go in and you push it up, I'll go up. I guess. <laughs> like, God forbid you were disabled and there was an emergency. <laughs> so uh, we're upstairs now, thanks to our awesome elevator. Uh, upstairs is like it's kind of a graveyard for equipment and stuff. But one of the things that does go on up here, in all seriousness, is that the animators do some motion capture and motion testing up here. Uh, not so much for the game, so much as for their their own test procedures. So they they try out walking and running animations and. Uh, and they do it with each other. Uh, it's not uh, not like we bring in stuntmen to do it. So you'll see Bant Lama running around wearing a flak jacket and uh, combat boots. And uh, that's really really all there is to this corner. Uh, 
It's where a lot of our old computers come to die, and where a lot of new stuff comes to get tested out before it gets deployed downstairs. So uh, we think of this area as kind of a garbage pit, but now it occurs to me it's kind of a fanboy swag uh, jamboree. I mean, you could eBay all this stuff, I suppose, and make yourself small. Actually, I uh, cut that. I, I think I got a plan, Brian. <laughs> uh, we'll uh, we'll just uh, pretend we never saw this corner. But uh, up here we got action figures galore. All these cabinets are filled with uh, swag, books, action figures, toys. Model warhogs, you name it, it's all in there, but uh, we don't really have any purpose for it. We'll start giving it away. This is just one of our, uh, our meeting rooms. This is where people get together and, and discuss our new projects. I can't even give you any clues as to what our new project is. Uh, it's top secret. Um, sorry about that. I know that's frustrating. But the slightest hint of anything, uh, and you guys would probably figure out what we were doing. Uh, I'll show you some more uh, meeting room space while we're here. Listen to me, Gates. It's going to be done, and it's going to be the game that you asked for. It's exactly what we discussed. It has everything you wanted, it has the level of adventure, it has the level of graphics, it has everything you want. It's going to be ready when you want it ready. So, just look forward to it. Try and enjoy the moment, man. It's going to be beautiful. So we were going to show you uh, inside this room and we just stuck our heads in to check what was there to see if it was secret or not and pretty much we would have given the whole thing away. I mean, the name of our next project is in there, uh, there are graphics on our next project running on screens in there. Uh, if you turn the volume up on the monitors you'll hear sounds from our next project. i uh, love to show you but unfortunately we're not in charge of that kind of decision making. Uh, so we can't show you anything in that room. Um, other than the door, for which I apologize. And maybe this monkey. So this is a, this is kind of a broad overview of Bungie Studios, a literal one at that. Uh, it used to be, in its life, it's been a drugstore, it's been a true value hardware store, it's been a Safeway, you can probably see that from the, the big art shape. We had it custom custom designed to, to suit our needs as a, needs as a, a video game studio. And uh, actually it was even a, a baseball batting cage at one point, which probably gives you an idea of how big the space is. Uh, we're going to show you a little more today. Uh, a lot of things we can't show you for obvious reasons of secrecy, but uh, if you follow me down the stairs, we'll go take you to a very special office. Hello everybody, I'm Marty O'Donnell. Yes, I'm working on the soundtrack for my very next project, which I can't discuss at the moment. Um, it's going to be terribly, hey. terribly musically accomplished. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Marty. What are you, uh, what are you doing in here? Hey, Marty, I was just, uh, this is, uh, we're in space. We're doing a, a tour of the, um, What are you doing with that belt then? I think that's even my other belt, my well, spare belt. Well, 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 you, I best have, soundtrack? I don't think you got... Uh, my best soundtrack? You don't have a belt. I Frank, take that off. I've told you before. Take that hat off and get out of my chair. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys need to clear out of here. This is, as you know, the Ivy Tower. You don't even have dark glasses on. Uh, yeah, I make a very poor Morty. Morty, okay. hey, why don't you show us a little bit about your studio while, while, we're, while we're here? Alright, well, this is the studio. We're still building it. There's still a lot to do. Um, it's a little bright in here for me at mm -hmm. this point. So the sunglasses isn't just a hangover? No. No. Well, you know, in general. Right. It's not. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, we can play, you know, we can play music. Even non-Halo music. Non-Halo music? Yeah. What, what? Is this from the next project? Could be. Oh, yeah! Can't touch any of it? No, don't touch any of it. And I don't what, know. What about that thing? Here. No, do not ever touch this. This is the most important, most valuable. It's the heart and soul of the studio. You do not touch this, okay? Marty, you can you can trust us. We'd never okay. touch okay. anything with us. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go out for a little bit too, but we should all just leave the other. Alright. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Okay. So this is how we roll when Marty's out of town. Alert. 
Disrupting covenant movement. Security, uh, this is where people have to come wait, and I'm not kidding about this. Things are so secure at the moment that you can't get past here unless you're a full time employee. So often we have visitors and they just kind of have to hang out here and in a couple other little rooms that we have for visitors. We've got our uh, Master Chief uh, Mountain Dew machine here, We've got a couple of our uh, giant Master Chief statues going on. Uh, as you know, everyone at Bungie has one of these belts. This is our trophy case, a uh, bunch of old awards and new awards. Uh, we, we stuck them in here so that we can be reminded how awesome we are every, every morning. Uh, this is also the waiting area, so we force people to look at our plane while they're waiting to get into the studios. So the Bungie Cats are always, always busy researching the very latest developments in video game technology. Today, for example, they're looking at a brand new uh, genre in gaming. Uh, you can come check it out if you like. This is, a, this is the cutting edge, cutting edge of video game technology that we're playing in here. These guys are researching for our next project. You can tell that they're, they basically take a scientific approach to it. They don't get too involved in it. They, uh, they're just, you know, they're basically analyzing, yeah! <laughs> analyzing every tiny facet of gameplay in this brand new, uh, innovative genre. What, is, what kind of genre is this? This uh, is first person fighter. First person fighter, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are excited because I quit owning them yesterday. So one dirty little secret is that our contractors uh, don't have any heating or air conditioning, so they keep themselves warm by uh, using the warmest available device in the room. But, uh, you know, we do give them snacks. So uh, we're scientists here, Bungie, and uh, we wanted to figure out how tall things in Halo 2 were relative to each other. So we made this awesome scientific chart, and these are actually to correct scale. So uh, starting at the bottom, this is about the size of a flood infection form. It's about the size of uh, Joe Staten right here, cinematics guy. It's about the size of Alta, the bungee princess. This is how she relates to the size of a grunt. Then there's me up here. Then a drone. Then we got a jackal. Then we got the chief himself, an elite, and tallest of all, Brute. Brute is the tallest character in Halo 2. For what? Three, two. So that about wraps it up for our tour of Bungie Studios, new offices in Kirkland. Hope you had fun, hope you saw some stuff that you enjoyed, and hope you didn't see anything that you weren't supposed to. Uh, we'll be uh, checking that tape very carefully to make sure we didn't give away any secrets. Until next time, or until we move to new offices, uh, it's been fun having you here.